Welcome to the Open Dental webinar on appointment views. In this webinar, we will discuss the different uses for appointment views, how to create and customize your appointment views, and how to change your appointment view as needed. Appointment views determine which operatories, providers, and appointment information will show in the appointments module. A couple examples of appointment views might be a view for each doctor, a view for your hygiene appointments, or, if patients can see the schedule, a HIPAA-compliant view that does not show PHI. To set up your appointment views, go to Setup, Appointments, and Appointment Views. If your office is using clinics, each clinic can have its own set of views associated. In the Appointment Views window is your time increments. Your options are 5, 10, or 15 minutes. For example, I am currently set to 10 minute time increments. This means in my appointments module, each row signifies 10 units of time for the patient. The time increments are a global change that affect all appointment views and all clinics. Also in the appointment views window is your procedure colors. When using the prox colored field in an appointment view, you can set certain procedure codes or code ranges to display in a specific color. To add a new view, click Add. To edit an existing view, double click. So at the top we have the description and that's going to be the name of your appointment view. And then we have the rows per time increment. Uh, that's how many rows display per increment of time, so one row for every 10 minutes. The minimum op width is the smallest you want an operatory to display. So when you have a lot of operatories in Open Dental, by default, Open Dental will resize them so that they can all fit on your schedule. Um, but if you have too many, then they might be too thin. So by setting a minimum op width, then it keeps a minimum size for each operatory and a scroll bar will appear instead, so then you would scroll your, on your schedule. Uh, that's going to be in pixels. So next you can set Open Dental to automatically open your appointment schedule at a certain time. So Open Dental's schedule goes from midnight to midnight. So to make sure that Open Dental opens at a specific time, for example 8 a.m., you can set the view start time on load or if your start time changes depending on the day, so maybe you open at 8 a.m. one day but 9 the next, you can do a dynamic start time which is based off of your schedule instead. And then we have the disable appointment bubbles. So when you hover over an appointment in Open Dental, you'll get a little pop-up bubble with more information. You can disable that per appointment view. Next, we want to decide which operatories we want to view. So all of your operatories will list off of here in the left. Um, just use the control key to decide which operatories you want to see. And then similarly, we have the view provider bars here at the bottom. So those are the time bars that are gonna display off to the left. If you are calculating production in your appointment view, you do wanna make sure that you have all of the necessary providers selected so that their production also counts towards that number. If you only want to show operatories for providers who are scheduled that day, up in the upper right, we have the only show ops for scheduled providers. Just check that and then your schedule will automatically change depending on which providers are actually scheduled that day. Next, we get to decide what information we want to see on the appointment. So you get to choose from available rows, your appointment field deaths and your patient field deaths. And all you have to do is select a row and then use the right and left arrows to move them to or from the appointment. So we'll take age and move it over. And it's currently in the main list, which is gonna be the main part of the appointment. And then I can use the arrows here at the bottom to move that up or down. You can also move an item into the upper right or lower right corner of an appointment. So for example, we have our confirmation color in the upper right. If you double click on one of these, you can change it back to the main list, move it to the lower right, 
or keep it where it was. When you double click on an item, you can also change the color. So for example, any of my appointment notes, I can show in red text. If you had multiple items in your upper right or upper lower right corners, you can change the way they display. So you can have them stack horizontally or vertically on the appointment. Once you like what you see, go ahead and click OK to save those changes. So back in the appointment views window, you'll notice that we have those F views first. So you have F1, all, F2, doc. These F keys are automatically assigned to the first 12 appointment views that you create so that you can quickly change appointment views using your keyboard. You can reorder these by using the up and down arrows. When you're in the appointments module, you can change your view using those F keys on your keyboard, or you can use the drop down off to the right. So all doc hygiene and HIPAA. Appointment views can be edited or added at any time. So what you select in your appointment view is what shows here on the appointment itself. Thank you for joining us for today's webinar. If you have additional questions, please contact our support line at 503-363-5432 or access our complete online manual at opendental.com. And to make sure you're staying up to date on our latest training videos, make sure you subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications.